right, hi guys. We are gonna try something new in math today. So I'm curious to see how it works and how you like it. But you will notice that you are in partners and you have a partner and you guys are gonna be working on these pages together, okay? You're both going to be doing the pages. So if my partner is Owen, Owen and I are both gonna be doing these on our paper and we're gonna be talking through the problems if we have any questions and we need coaching, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going through as the reader and I'm giving my directions and then you are going to pause this and then you're gonna complete what I just taught and then you're gonna go through and you are going to continue, okay? So just like in our groups, you're gonna get whatever you can get done. If you get the whole video done, great. If you only get 10 minutes of the video done, that's fine. Or I mean like maybe 10 problems. I don't think this is gonna be 10 minutes. Okay, if you notice we're on page 18, I'm sorry, we're on lesson 18 and we're on page 240. So pause this now and make sure that both partners are ready to have this page started. All right, now on this page, you are going to pair the objects to decide if the number is even. So just like we do in our morning meeting when we circle our pairs to see if we have partners. And then you're gonna tell me, is it even or not even? And we know that if it's not even, we call it an odd number. So you're gonna go through and do that with these. Then down below, this says draw to continue the pattern until you have drawn 10 pairs. So this is one pair. This is two pairs. This is three pairs. See how they have a pair? You're gonna continue this pattern until you have 10 pairs. All right, why don't you pause on this page and wait until you guys finish and then move on. Make sure to talk and coach each other through. All right, next page, you are going to write the number of dots in an array in problem two from least to greatest. So you're gonna write the number of dots from problem two, from least to greatest. So here I have two dots, so I'd start with two. Then I have four dots, I'd go to four, and so on and so on and so on. Then I'm gonna go back to my problem two and I'm gonna circle the array that has two columns of seven. So I'm gonna go back to this page and I'm gonna find my array. Remember, this was an array, this was an array, this was an array. I'm gonna find my array that has two columns of seven. Okay, if you need to, pause this and coach each other until you have it. Here, I'm gonna box in the array in problem two that has two columns of nine. So over here, I'm gonna box in the array that has two columns of nine. Pause it if you need to. For number six, I'm going to follow the set of dots as columns. I'm going to redraw the following sets of dots as columns, up and down, of two, or two equal rows, okay? So you get to pick, are you gonna be making columns up and down or are you gonna be making rows back and forth, counting up your dots and making an even array? Same with this one, count them up and are you gonna either be making two rows or are you gonna be making two columns with them? Then fill this in. There are blank dots total. This is, um, this number, is it an even, yes or no? Okay. Here you're gonna circle groups of two. So put them in partners, just like we do in our morning work on our number of the day. You're gonna count by twos to see if this is an even number. Okay, so then I wanna know how many sets of twos there are. So here is one set of two. So this would be one. Partner them up. 
So if I have blank sets of two, do I have any left over? Now I want you to count by twos to find the total number of smiley faces. So I'd start with my two from this one and four, on and on and on. This group has an even number of objects. Is that true or is that false? Okay, remember, pause at any time for you guys to go through and work on this. On this one, you are redrawing them as either columns, two equal columns, or two equal rows, whichever one you'd like. Then you are going to tell me how many total dots there are, and you're going to tell me, is that number, is this number right here, is it even, yes or no? Then when you count this up, is this number right there, is that number even or odd? Is it even, yes or no? All right, pause it until, until both are done. Then let's move on to the practice problem. Okay, so here you're going to pair them up, put them together and see, circle, is this even or not even? Pair these up. Is this even or not even? Pair these up. Now you're gonna continue this pattern of pairs in the square below until you have drawn zero. So see how here is my array then notice they take away a row of hearts. So you're gonna take away a row of hearts and draw yours again. I don't care if you do dots, if hearts are too hard. You're gonna keep going, taking away a row each time until you get to zero. Then on the back, same thing. From number two, you're gonna order them from greatest to least. So you're going to go from the greatest number, count them up, count it up, count it up, and you're going to rewrite those over here. Then you're going to circle the array that has two columns that have six in each. Then you're going to box in the array that has two columns with eight in each. So on, so on, and so on. Here you're going to redraw the set of stars and you're going to make either two columns or two equal rows using these stars. I don't mind if you do dots or stars. It's up to you. Then you're going to tell me well, how many stars do you have? Is that number or the number of stars that you counted? Is that an even number? Yes or no? Then you're going to do the same thing here. You're going to group them up and you're going to count by twos. Tell me how many sets of two are there and do you have any left over? Then you are gonna count by twos all the way through and then you're gonna tell me, is this number an even number, true or false? All right, go ahead and stop there if you have finished them all. And if you have finished them all, then you can work on any math app that you would like.